Alrighty, good morning and uh, welcome back. Right off the bat, you can see we got a new attachment for the bumper kettle. This is the, uh, the rotisserie attachment. This one is made by BBQ Toro. Uh, I went with this one just because of the fact that uh, my dad has one and I don't know if this, the, the only fire brand uh, still has their ring on the inside, but I bought this one because the ring goes on the outside. Uh, it should make for more, I don't know, like a more tight fit, I guess you could say. Uh, there shouldn't be as much air going through it. There's still obviously going to be air going through it because there is holes where the spit goes through. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to try to keep an eye on that because what we're gonna do today is a rotisserie chicken. Uh, no, I, I don't got this thing started up yet, but uh, I'll show you the setup we're gonna use. You can see I got my dripping griddle in there, and then I also got my slow and sear in there, and uh, vent on the opposite side of the slow and sear. And uh, yeah, besides that, just figured I'd start off down here and uh, give you a peek at this. So we will pick back up and we're up in the kitchen. Alrighty, so we are back. Uh, got the chicken all nice and seasoned up. Uh, you can see what we use for uh, a binder today. We use this uh, this organic canola oil with garlic flavor. It really does have a good garlic smell to it. And then uh, the seasoning we use is the Montreal steak. And no, this isn't steak, it is chicken, but this is this stuff's pretty good on everything. Uh, I did trust the chicken up. Uh, hop on YouTube, there's about a hundred different ways you can do it. Uh, I just picked the top video, it was only like two minutes long, and I kind of sort of made up part of it as I went along. But uh, the bird will hang pretty nice. Uh, nothing will nothing will flop, so mission accomplished. So now, besides that, let's let this sit on the, let this sit out on the stove top here just for a little bit as the grill's coming up to temp, and uh, I will pick back up when we're done at the grill. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are done at the grill. Just put the chicken on. I'll give you a quick peek. There she be. Um, put a fire sort of like right in the middle of the slow and sear, and to start this cook out, uh, I do have a. My temp sensor kind of probed right on the side of the grill there just to kind of give me some kind of idea what the grill is at. Like I said, I kind of want to do this low and slow. So to start out, top vent is going to be completely closed and then the bottom vent is just open just a crack. And uh, if I need to have it come up, you know, I'll probably crack that bottom vent open a little bit. Uh, I'm guessing I'll be able to leave the top vent shut all the way just because of the, the holes where the, uh, the pit goes through it or the spit goes through it. So uh, yeah, besides that, I'll probably, I don't know, check back in about an hour or so. So see you then. Alrighty, so we are about an hour in. Go ahead and take a quick peek at the chicken. Looking pretty dang good. Uh, I am able to hold this thing right around 250, so that's pretty good. Um, the bottom vent is just barely cracked, uh, and the top vent all the way shut this whole cook. And uh, I think I will continue to do that, or maybe I'll close the bottom vent all the way. But either way, uh, internal temp on my lid is at about 250 on the non coal side. So that's about perfect for me and this chicken. So now uh, probably gonna leave this thing shut down for about another hour and uh, we'll see you. I'll pick back up then, so we'll see you then. All right, we're about two hours in. Uh, I did just internal temp this chicken. It's at about uh, 145, 140-ish, depending on where you check it. So I'm gonna just keep on keeping on. See, there's quite a bit of coal left. I'll probably have to add some to the end of this cook because I'm gonna guess this is probably gonna be, oh, probably about another hour and a half yet. But uh, besides that, uh, close this thing back down. And uh, I will probably pick back up, uh, I won't pick back up again until this is upstairs, so we'll see you then. Alrighty, so we are back, uh, just pulled this thing in uh, real quick over to cook times. Uh, pit ran around right around 250 degrees today, uh, cooked it for about 3 hours 45 minutes. Uh, the breast internal temp was right around 166, 167, and uh, she is plenty, plenty juicy. Uh, I'm going to let this thing cool off probably for about 20-30 minutes, and I'm going to make this into pulled chicken. So. I will pick back up one more time and we'll do a little taste test. So we'll see you then. Okay, the chicken is pulled and uh, I mean, I have not tried it. Actually, that's a lie. Of course I've tried this. Let's go ahead and try another piece. That is awesome. I'm gonna tell you what, uh, I may never cook a full chicken. I mean, I'll probably still spatchcock them because uh, it's, it's fun to spatchcock chickens. But uh, this rotisserie chicken has got to be one of the best chickens I've ever done. Um, Really impressed too with the uh, the BBQ Toro. Um, you know, I was talking about that lip on the bottom side, and I really think it helped seal it up tight. So it, it was extremely easy to uh, hold that thing right around 250. Like I didn't even have to mess with anything the entire cook. So besides that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. You guys and girls have a good night, and uh, we will see you next time.